Hey everybody, welcome back to more Octopath Traveler. We're inside the Ravis Mansion, and we gotta figure out what this treasure is all about, because I want to get paid. So, there are a lot of items in this area, and we're gonna go through and collect them all. If the encounters become a little bit too annoying, I might start cutting back on them, but meh, we'll see how that goes. You're probably going to notice that uh, Therian is now level 6. That's because obviously after the last episode I went through and leveled him up a good deal. Yeah, so I leveled him up a pretty good deal. I'm pretty satisfied. Honestly, he came out pretty good, you know? We're gonna go, we're gonna jump into some uh, JP point stuff in a little bit. And we'll deal with that element of his character. Uh, pretty quickly. Okay, he's almost there. There we go. Where's the nearest tavern? Meanwhile, Hanit is standing, Hanit is standing at a level 9. So... At some point, I might start trying to balance out the levels between my characters, but once we get to, like, 8, I'm probably going to get to the point to where I'm going to try to have different cast members in the team at any given time, for any given story. That way, no matter what I do, everything will always be, I don't know, special, unique, you know what I mean? Like, I, I want to keep it interesting at all times. That might not always be easy, but I'm going to try. Don't start things you can't finish. Alright. Good stuff. Yeah, there's nothing in this place that's... The problem is, this place is not really great for leveling. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to get him up to where he is. And my oh, desire to show people stuff in a game kind of kept me from just collecting this. all the items. Oh, really? <laughs> Seriously? I couldn't run away. Are you serious? Come the hell on, man. Why not? Screw it. Didn't matter. You're dead anyways. So I still won. And on this level 10. God damn it. That's unfortunate. Well, you know, I say it's unfortunate she's level 10. What I really should be saying is I wasn't... I'm somebody who likes to keep a nice cast of characters at a decent level from each other. I don't really like the whole Final <laughs> Fantasy approach where, like, you have your main team who are, like, level 90, but then, like, the rest of your team is, like, garbage. Not really a fan of that mentality. But unfortunately, that shit happens. You can't always avoid it. It's just part of how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Hanit, you are a beastly woman, and I love you. You are truly best waifu. Uh, druid waifu, really. The best druid waifu. Uh, nothing in here. Alright, fair enough. Guess we'll head in here? Nope. I mean, yes, but... So there is one enemy type in this place that gave me trouble. I couldn't I couldn't fathom what he was weak against, because I was hitting him with everything. He's weak against two elementals. He's not even weak against, like, weapon types. He's weak against fire and ice. You'll know when you run into him, because he looks like this guy, just a little bit different. Um... And he's only weak against two things. And like I said, it's fire and ice. But it's so unusual for him to be weak against that. I just never would have expected that. This, it, never, it never occurred to me to imagine that an enemy would just be weak against elemental stuff and not, like, everything else. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's possible.
Uh, I'm gonna get this item over here. 800, nice. Uh, I should be good. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't done anything. We're gonna go to skills real quick and learn some skills. So, and it is, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. 220. Christ almighty. Okay. I forgot she was going to have so much stuff. Um, so many points. So as you can see, she's gonna unlock a support skill after learning four skills. And she's gonna unlock one after learning five skills. So we're actually gonna be getting two support skills today. Which is gonna be kind of cool. Um, attack a single foe with the bow. Otherwise, lethal attacks will instead leave the target with one HP. Cause a single target to act at the end of the turn for two turns. I'm gonna take Thunderbird, because elemental is always a good thing. Boom. So now we have access to support skills. And now it's gonna cost us 500 JP to learn the next skill. Meanwhile, Therian needs to learn a skill. And I'm thinking Armor Corrosive, because I'm probably gonna be dealing physical damage quite a bit. So we're gonna go Armor Corrosive. Now it's gonna take him four, a uh, hundred JP to learn a skill. Oh, wait, equip support skills. Gain increased chance of attacking first in battle. Equipping this skill with multiple characters will have no added effect. Okay, so you can't stack it. Fair enough. All right. Let's go. Actually, no, we're not quite done, are we? Yeah. I keep forgetting this mansion is bigger than what I give it credit for. I've got better things to do. What next? Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's there's a lot of them, aren't there? This is this is a thing. It's not a huge deal, as I have more than my fair share ways of killing these things if I really need to. I'm only going easy on them for a reason. Um, they're not that powerful against me anyway, so it's not like they're gonna like kill me or anything. Ah, uh, okay, 41%. That's fun. I don't care. I, I really didn't want you again, Hanette. Nice. Letting the hunt begin. Forgot these guys mostly just give you ice soul stones. You know, I wish I would have remembered I could go through that door and not accidentally trigger a story event. But since I'm not typically saving it every level or something, I just kind of grind until I'm done. I don't always remember that detail. I admit it, I forgot. So sue me. I made a mistake. It happens. Come on, I've got better things to do. Ethereum, uh, look, I know you're a snarky little bitch, but can you, like, not be that way all the time? It's cute and all, but I need you to focus up. Damn it, Therion, I swear to God, if you level again, you're really starting to, like, make my life difficult. Wind attire. Nice! More equipment. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely nice. Hell yeah. I, I will say, having the dash function somehow manage to make your encounter rate go up it makes sense but jesus guys that's that's a dick move like you add you add a function people wanted but then you make it costly for me to use like i don't want to dash like dashing sounds great but if you're in a place like this you're just gonna draw more attention to yourself so it's like mm. 
I'd make more progress not dashing. Hmm. Not bad. Oh my goodness. Now, let us hunt him. Hi there, buddy. Friend? What's good? Your death? Yeah, that's pretty good for me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kinda happy about it. Damn it, she killed him. I, was, I didn't think she'd actually murder him in like one round. Mm, we'll go down. If you need anything, just say the word. Of course. Uh, you don't have a lot, really. And I'm pretty sure I have more than enough. Hmm, okay. This is this is why I did it. Right here, this is why. Bottle of befuddling dust. This is this is the thing I like about this game, you guys, is that you will find stuff all over the place. What next? Don't care, not fighting you. Look, I'm sure I'm gonna catch shit at some point during this playthrough about my about these episodes being long. Uh, I wish I had a reason. I wish I could tell you why, but unfortunately, it just there's logical points in these games to just take a break, and I typically tend to pick those points. Mm, I'm gonna defend. No, you don't. Come in. Cause I know for a fact you should like fuck him up entirely. All right, more than fifty. Nice. Didn't even matter. All your hard work, and it didn't even matter. You tried so hard to kill me. Invigorating nut. Huh, huh. Alright. Anyways, we're done. We've collected all the items. I got all the good shit. I'm, I'm convinced. I have done my duty. I have done everything required of me. Uh, inventory. There we go. Considering I spent the first episode stressing over items, and now here I am with a literal dick ton of items, I'm really starting to question myself on why I even worried, wasted my time worrying, honestly. Let's take a look around the map a little bit. What do we have here? Oof, so many people. Jesus, so many. So many people. So many. So many souls for us to get to know. So many. Hmm. I have no idea where we're going to go next. I don't know yet. I'll decide. I'll figure it out, guys. We'll fi we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. We're bound to. We'll figure it out. Anyways, let's take a look at this treasure. No. Really? Come on, I've got better things to do. Come on, dude. You're you're slow. You're slowing down my adventure here. I need you to need you to back up. Really? Okay. Come in, if thou dare. Let in my arrow. Uh, I wouldn't say your arrow, more like your your impressive axe, if you will. That axe is really impressive. So this is the amazing treasure everyone is talking about. It looks like an ordinary gemstone to me. Can't imagine it's worth all that much. The jewel before you is worth more than your mind could hope to fathom. Your inability to discern as much is disconcerting, to say the least. Who the hell are you? Not just anyone can sneak up on me like that. 
I should be the one asking you that question. Not just anyone could have made it this far into the manor, after all. You won't get answers by stroking my ego. I meant it as nothing but genuine praise. Allow me to congratulate you on being the first thief to make it here. You say it as if you wanted this to happen. Just so. We tightened security for that very purpose. We figured no thief worth his salt would be able to turn down such a challenge. Go on. To this end, we even ask the barkeep for help. His job? Find promising thieves and spin tales about this manner. In other words, you tricked thieves into trying to rob this place. Think of it more as appealing to their inner nature. The great treasure of Ravus Manor, guarded by a veritable army. What thief could pass up such glory, such riches? We had such high hopes, but were constantly met with disappointment. But finally, one has proven himself worthy. I should have seen this coming. And yet you did not. And I find myself most grateful for your lack of foresight. So what's your angle? I need not explain that to you. <sighs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Heathcote. I am a butler in the service of House Ravis. Do you expect me to believe an ordinary butler snuck up on me? Anyway, who you are won't matter once I'm out of here. Now, if you'll excuse me. I assure you, you won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Wh oh shit! <laughs> the manager's about to throw the fuck down. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm feeling this. Um, well, thankfully for all of us, we came well equipped, didn't we? Let's light things up a little Take bit, this. shall we? Oh, you're weak against fire, aren't you? Letting the hunt begin. All right. Uh, we know he's weak against fire, so let's uh, let's chill out a little bit. Trying this. Oh, he's weak against ice. Oh, the more we learn, my friend, the more we learn. I'm sorry, uh, fire? Take this! If I recall, this guy's also not very effective against daggers. Yep, thought so. What next? And uh hunt it. I still need you to go in on this asshole real quick for me. Thank you. My turn. Let's try some shadow. Take this. Ooh, that did it. Oh, he did not like that, did he? Oh, he did not like that feeling. That was not. That was not pleasant. You know what? I'm feeling a little. Let's go. You know, let's take, let's take it up a notch. Here, have some wind. Ooh, you didn't like that one either, did you? Suck it, son. Uh, let's see here. Mm-hmm, that worked. I want to go axes. Yeah, we're going to go axes. Nope, didn't work. Bow? Yep, that worked.
Well, he's bleeding out at the moment, so I'm not really all that concerned. There, you're broken. Uh, Aerostorm? Sure. Out of my way. Oh yeah, he's in the red. Screw it. Rain of arrows. I actually can't believe we broke him. Haha. <laughs> Get wrecked. Mess around with me. Find out what happens to you. We ain't messing around in here. So. You can hold your own in battle as well. It seems I underestimated you. That makes two of us. Was that a part of your butler training? I see you still have some reservations about my true profession. Though I'm sure my victory here lends my words no credit. Your victory? What in the... Any thief worth his salt should recognize that band. The mark of a convict. The fool's bangle, as some call it. Undeniable proof of a thief's humiliating blunder. Get this off of me! I do not take my orders from you. I've attached it to your arm for a reason. If anyone is to see it, they shall know of your failure here today. Why, you? However, I imagine your pride will not permit you to be seen with it. And that makes it perfect leverage for negotiations. Negotiations? You may have broken into my home, but for now, I will overlook your transgressions. Oh, great. More company. Pardon my belated introduction. My name is Cordelia Ravis, and I am the lady of the house. Regards to your decorator, they sure have a way with traps. Allow me to explain. The treasure you are after is a family heirloom known as the Dragonstones. You don't say. The Dragonstones have been in my family for generations. Wait, Dragonstones? I see one. Yes, once there are more. But the stones were stolen during the chaos following my parents' passing. Fortunately, Heathcote was able to recover the Sapphire Stone. What touching devotion. Is this the part where I move to tears? Perhaps, once you understand your place in this story. If you collect the three remaining stones, we shall remove the band from your arm. So, this was your plan all along? Yes. But please understand, I had no choice. Well, aren't you too clever? Setting a thief to catch a thief. Don't thieves often say, the ensnared has only himself to blame? Yeah, they do. For a butler, you sure know a lot about thieves, old man. I dare not bore you with my story when there are more pressing matters at hand. Will you undertake Miss Ravis's mission, young thief, 
If you refuse... I'll do the job. Excellent. Then I pray your journey will be a successful one. Well, this isn't exactly how I imagined our adventure would go. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Oh, I am back. And trust me, I got a story for you, asshole. With a tale to tell, too. I'll trade it for a drink. Afraid I don't deal in that currency. Listen, I just came from Bravest Manor. Had a lovely chat with a fellow named Heathcote. Maybe you know him. I did warn you not to go there. So, was it everything you expected it to be? All that and more. And now I'm awfully thirsty. I might need two drinks to get this bad taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Coming right up. Well, all things considered, I mean, it could have been much worse. But don't worry, Therion. You have the beautiful Miss Hunnit with you. And soon we'll be adding even more people to our ranks. So really, you should be pretty happy. It could have been, it could have been way worse for you. Ooh, a broadsword. Oh, yeah. Uh, right now I want to keep building up my cash. So as we do these stories, we'll continue to build up some cash, and then we'll work. We'll worry about the whole, you know, financial aspect of our uh, of our adventure. Cause don't worry, folks. I won't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through this entire game just coasting by, just by my level alone. Something I probably will be doing for a decent amount of it, given how I'm playing the game. But for right now. Uh, I don't think this is going to last forever. It very likely won't. What do you have? I st oh, I, I probably robbed everybody, didn't you? Damn, I, I legit just robbed everybody. First chance I had, I wasted no time. I robbed all you. Every one of you got robbed. Except for you. All right, now we can go. Mr. Therion. Ugh, what now? I came to see you off on your journey. As it is at my behest that you're setting out. Look, I'm just fulfilling my half of a bargain. Nothing more, nothing less. I understand that, but... He's right, milady. This is simply an agreement between us and a skilled but short-sighted thief. Exactly. There is something you should know before you go. As you saw, I recovered a blue stone. It is no... The remaining three are the dragon stones of ruby, emerald, and gold, each named for its sheen. And if I steal them all back for you, you'll remove this band. You have my word. Your word? Well, that sounds legitimate. Any idea where I should start looking? Rumor has it that a scholar in noble court is researching the Ruby Dragonstone. Noble Court. Great. I'll fit right in. Mr. Therion! What is it this time? Please, do take care out there. Never thought a man of my talents would be working for someone like. 
uh, it's nothing. You'll get your stones back soon. Just leave the thieving to me. And so Therion set forth. His mission, which he begrudgingly accepted, to retrieve the remaining three dragon stones of House Ravis, that he might have the mark of shame removed from his arm. Little did he know what fate awaited him. Well, all things considered, could have been much worse, my friend. Well, I guess this means we have to figure out what we're going to do next, kids. Because, let's face it, I don't know what we're doing next. Hmm. There's two of us, and there's still six other poor, weary souls out there we need to bring into our fold for this adventure. Wouldn't hurt to go looking for them, now wouldn't it? Anyways, boys and girls, I will see you next time.